today on another episode of Spartan Mining. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, welcome back, guys. Welcome back to the to the Spartan Mining YouTube channel. This is Daniel. Today we're going to be setting up uh, your your awesome miner and your mining pool hub to mine some of that electronium. So we're going to go through the steps. It's not going to be a very long video because I got another video coming up where I'm going to feature the difference between how Samsung memory versus Micron memory performs. I have two 580s that I'm going to be doing that test on later. It's going to be coming up in probably a few hours after this video. So be on the lookout for that. You know, see if there's a big hype around Samsung versus Micron versus Hynix, you know, whatever. So we're just going to battle them out. We got two 580s that are BIOS mod, so we're just going to put them to the test. But with that out of the way, if you don't have a Mining Pool Hub account, that's what you'll need to do. So you'll go to miningpoolhub.com, create your account. Um, you know, you'll have to go through, put your email address in and everything. And then once you get it all set up, you'll be good to go. And one of the first things you'll need to do is add a worker. So you just go over to the worker name, you'll add, you, you can name it whatever you want to. And then your worker password. So it's going to use what your your account name is whenever you made your mining pool hub account. So like mine's Spartan Mining, obviously. So Spartan Mining dot Spartan Mining is what my worker is called. And then your password can be X. So it doesn't matter what it is. It, your password can be X or Z or W or three or whatever the hell you want it to be. Whatever. <clears throat> All right. So the next thing we're going to want to do is get Awesome Miner. So at the main page of Mining Pool Hub, you can see um, where you can download Awesome Miner. So let's just click on the main. It'll be to your right. You just click on Awesome Miner, and then it's going to take you directly to this page. So if you got Windows, Mac, whatever the hell you got, just download the Windows application if you got Windows, which is what we did. And then now, boom, you bring up this nice little wizard thing. Once you have once you bring up awesome miner so in this wizard we're just going to create a new miner we'll go to next you can have it a managed miner or a managed profit miner so we're going to go to let's just go to managed miner here so the miner description we'll just say electronium this is going to be our electronium miner all right cool device profile well all i'll run is amd card so we'll just go with the amd x algorithm click next <clears throat> software okay we're doing the claymore's dual ethereum we don't want the claymore's dual ethereum we want the kryptonite 11.2 amd gpu miner the pool is going to be the electro so the electronium pool don't worry about that we're going to go through it i'm going to get it set up for you guys so you know how to set that up click next click finished <clears throat> cool now we have our electronium thing set right here this is going to be the miner that we're going to be using to mine electronium well, if you don't have a pool automatically set up, how, how do you go about doing that? So we'll go up here to go to new pool. Uh, description for the pool, what, what do we want to call it? Well, let's just call this Electronium Pool 1, okay? Well, we need a server URL. Like, how are we going to get to that pool? How are we going to get it to log in? So we'll go back over here, go back to miningpoolhub.com. On the left, you're going to see a thing where it has a, a list of the different pools that you can choose from. So we'll click on Electronium. Right here, it's server. You can see where it says us-east.kryptonite-hub-miningpoolhub.com, etc. That's what we're going to be using. So we'll take this. We're going to copy it. Nope, not click that. Okay, go back to the awesome miner. We're going to paste in the server URL. All right. So we did that. All right. So whenever you add in your worker name, it's going to be what your mining pool hub account is dot worker name. So Spartan mining dot Spartan mining is what mine is. And then your worker password and then you'll hit OK. So we'll type that in optional settings. I always just set this to uh, the coin I'm mining. Just because it, it looks cleaner for me. So we'll just do that. You don't have to put a wallet address in. You'll click OK. Cool. So we have that part set. Now a few things that you can do when you're selected on the Electronium pool, you can view your dashboard. 
So once you start mining, you're going to see what your hash rates are at an update up here. So every 10 seconds, it'll refresh itself. And it'll see what you have in your confirmed, what you have in your unconfirmed, if it's on the auto exchange, whether it's confirmed or unconfirmed balances. You'll have the recent credits. So each time you get a credit from the, the pool, you'll see the amount show up here. The estimated block times will be here, the round shares, the network difficulty, etc., etc. You can click on the workers tab. And then once you start actually mining to that pool, here it's going to update. It'll update itself automatically right here after a few minutes, and your worker will be showing that it's, it's hashing out and it's mining to the pool. Go to the graphs. This will show you your total hash rate as you're mining itself. And then you can go to transactions where it'll show your transactions each time you get paid. So we have that. Go back to the dashboard. We know that. You can go, you can click on news. Up at the top, it'll take you directly to electronium.com. If you don't know more about electronium or if you want to know more about electronium, it'll take you to this page and it'll go over everything. It'll tell you all you want to know about Electronium. It has their white paper, their their mission behind the project. You can create your wallet, which is where you'll be depositing your ETN to, etc., etc. Okay, that's not what this video is about. So back to the main point. We did our Awesome Miner setup. We got all the information from the Electronium pool to put into the Awesome Miner. So now we're just going to click on Options. <clears throat> we have our pool. Our electro pool right here, uh, the electronium pool one, my bad. Electro pool one, wallet address, we don't have that yet. Um, profit switching. So, whenever you're back on your awesome miner, you can click on custom pools. So, you'll take off your the mining pool hub, otherwise, you'll go into your profit switching back and forth, back and forth, which is not what you want to do. So you'll uncheck that, you go down the custom pools, and we just created our custom pool, so we'll check Electronium Pool 1. Alright, so we got that much. So we know we're set up on this mining portion right here. Alright, so, well how are we going to get paid out once we start mining? That's a good question. So we'll click on our wallet. On your wallet, this is where you're going to copy and paste your payment address. So, you're going to get your payment address and paste it right here. You can adjust your payout threshold. So if you don't want to get paid out, you don't have to worry about it. Obviously, I suggest anybody who's going to set up anything with any website through mining or whatever, do your your two your two factor authentication. Just it'll keep you safe. You know, there, there's no reason not to. But if you want to start mining and you want to say you you have an automatic payout of 100 ETM, you just have your payment address set here. You put 100 right here, you type in your code, you update account, and you'll be good to go. Cash out. If you want to cash out at any point in time, just remember there's a minimum of 0 0.08 ETN. So make sure you have at least 0 0.08 ETN before you try to cash out. Your payment address will automatically be updated right here. So just type in your OTP code, hit cash out, it'll send it to the server. And then before you know it, you'll have some of that sweet ETN deposited into your wallet. So what happens if you don't have a payment address? Well, let's find out. Go back to our awesome miner here on the desktop. We're going to click start. Let it load up, start doing some hashings. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to update quick enough for us to actually see what it's going to do. But I can tell you what it's going to do. If you don't have any addresses set up, you don't have to worry about it. On your mining pool hub account, right here is going to have a balance of all your coins, right? So you'll have all your coins. If you have a wallet set up, if you don't have a wallet set up, if you have it on the exchange, if it's not on the exchange, this is going to have where all your coins are kept on the miner itself. So if you don't have a wallet address set up right now, all right, no big deal. I suggest you get one as soon as possible, and you do that through registering through Electronium or whatever coin it is. Just make sure you get your wallet set up. But if you don't, and you don't have an address for it to go to, it will keep it here on the miner until you put in a wallet address and you cash out. So, let's see here. We're mining at 1.5 kilohashes for Electronium. 
Now, we haven't done anything. These cards, they're BIOS modded that are in the system right now. But they're not overclocked. I don't have MSI Afterburner up or anything. You know, we're just trying to do a, you know, a short video of how to get set up to mine Electronium, etc. So hopefully you guys learned something with this. I know Brandon over at Brandon Coin is going to be doing another video. Uh, coming up, you know, getting set up on some Electronium and downloading an awesome miner and going through the steps. So be sure to go to his channel and check him out. I put a link in the description down below. If you liked the video, you know, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and be on the lookout for the video between Samsung and Micron Memory coming up here soon. And until next time.